I kind of don't want to take this down. Hello, dragons. I'm the ruler of the Dragon Kingdom, Dragon Snips. And Godzilla birthday just passed just a few days ago. And I missed it. Yeah, he just turned 68 years old. Wait, how old is Godzilla going to be again? I want to double check real quick. Yeah, fine. So I'm just going to say he's going to be turning 68 years old this year. I might be wrong on that. Man, I remember when he just turned 50 years old. I was like still in elementary, no, not elementary school. Was I still in elementary school when he just turned 50? Or was I just going into middle school at the time? I don't remember. But why are we talking about Godzilla? This is an art channel, not a movie channel. Well, I've been a Godzilla fan since I was a little dragon lane, And I really got into Monster because of him. But not just because I'm a big fan of him. I also got something from a convention I went to back in February. Yeah, just a plain old box. But... There's something inside it. Now you can't see my face. Paper bag. Paper something. I don't know. But inside it's like a 3D model of the big G. Well, just part of him actually. I gotta put this big guy together. I've always wanted to play with 3D models and 3D printing and all that stuff. But I don't have a 3D printer and I don't really have the space for a 3D printer nor the money for a 3D printer. So I gotta settle with this, that I have that now, that I spend an eternity staring at and trying to figure out how to put it together. But I'm happy. So let's grab this box and take it out to the uh, my art decks and put it all together. Before we get started with the video, I wanted to say that my editing style is based on both Mariah Elizabeth and Graveyard Loon. So we're clear on that. Now it's time to bring out this box that I hold on to since February. And we're just gonna open this buddy up. So after removing the paper bag and removing the 3D pieces out of the box, my fifth initial thought about this whole thing was what the heck are those holes for? And here I go, shoving up an arm toward the camera. No idea what was going through my mind at the time. It's been a while. Now what I do remember is that I did a test before starting this video and I wanted to see if I can sand this thing down. I don't know if you can tell, the 3D model is a little bit too shiny, I don't know if it's going to be seen on camera or not. So I grabbed a piece of the sandpaper and a few more sandy tools and got to work. Also if you wanted to know where I got in the 3D model, I believe this is where I got in the model, just found it under the stand of the thing. Now there are a few reasons why I wanted to sand it down, and you already know one of the reasons. The second reason was to help the paint to stick under this model. I don't really remember what type of filament this model is made out of, but the way it looked it's probably resin. So I'm sanding this down, not enough to get rid of the details. I am very careful when it comes to the small details on this model. I just want to get rid of the shininess on it, not try to get rid of the details. So I made sure that I sanded down all the pieces down first and then cleaned them before moving on to the next stage. I cleaned them off camera. I still have no idea what these holes are for for the model, but um, my guess is where the, it's stands when it's being printed out in the 3D printer, but other than that, I really don't know or have any idea what it's for. I grab up my super glue and proceed to glue it all together. All of the pieces are glued together except for the base because I wanted to save that for last. But before we get into like painting the said 3D model, I needed to do something that will be completely a waste of time in my opinion. I grabbed out my epoxy sculpt next that I had way longer than the YouTube channel even started. And I wanted to use the epoxy sculpt for like filling in some of those big cracks that Godzilla had that uh, when I was gluing the pieces together didn't kind of, I don't know, maybe I didn't fit it in right when I was gluing it in, or I kind of missed it when I was gluing it. And also to make it look like it was seamless. Also the fact that um, I was starting to get really bored and frustrated with this, and I, and I really wanted to get into the painting part of this project. So yeah, I set aside the epoxy sculpt and went into the process of painting. <laughs> Hey, now, this has happened before when I was doing projects, like 
my last video, of your video back when I was doing the fix and finish, I got like so bored. I just wanted to kind of finish the project. This can be a good thing and this can be a bad thing, but we're not going to get into that okay, right now. Now for the base coat of the model, I had planned to use my airbrush because again, I worked on this project while I was getting cold, but I still had no idea how to use the airbrush and like I said, I wanted to get the painting done, so I pretty much took the, this uh, 3D model outside and spray painted him down. Once he's got completely covered in white paint, I went ahead and worked on Godzilla first before moving on to the base. I covered him up in a gray coloration that I've already mixed, like I mixed this gray color a long time ago. The gray color also had a bit of blue because Godzilla isn't really a true gray or green in most versions. I decided to go with the color that Godzilla had in the American movie versions, the monsterverse of him, not like the 1998 Godzilla film. Is that even a Godzilla film? Can we all collectively rename that film to Zilla because I still like that film, but even I know that isn't a Godzilla film. It's Zilla. I'm gonna go with Zilla. Anyway, after an eternity of coating this guy in a bluish gray color, it was time to do some dry brushing. Now I'm not very good with dry brushing. But I know enough to make it look good, hopefully. I added in a few different colors to Godzilla himself, and most of it, and most of it you can't even see on camera. What is wrong with me? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! And even that one part, I did some wet washing where I mixed paint and water together and kind of put that on, like, the model and picked it up with a uh, paper towel, get rid of the paint and all that stuff, and what left in the cracks remained there. However, I don't think I did it right. I think I did it wrong. It didn't really show up in the final act. At least to me, I don't think it did. But it turned out okay. The project did. Not the uh, wetting down the paint and all that stuff. I don't know. As I'm dry brushing, I added some like lighter grays and maybe some white on Godzilla. I think I did add some black later, but um, I think I just added more grays and white. And I did add blues to the spine and the part of uh, like Godzilla body, mouth, and eyes, although his eyes are completely blue. The main reason why I wanted to add blue is because I wanted to kind of add like a glowing effect on his spine, although I don't know if I achieved it, but I kind of wanted to like to have him look like he's charging off his atomic breath. Like I mentioned, I don't know if I exceeded in that matter, but it looked fine in the end. Also, I do have one regret. When I was painting his spine, I added like a darker blue later on. And that's like one of the regrets that I have for his spine. But anyways, let's continue on. Now you will notice that the base popping in into frame sometime. Because I was working on that at the same time that I was working on Godzilla. And once Godzilla is finished, I did went ahead and complete the base. I went ahead and painted in some of the cards. You can see if you can in the base itself. Now you do have one regret on the base itself. The water uh, like surrounding where the building has fallen, including the cars, didn't turn out the way I wanted it. I wanted it to look more like a sewage water, gross water, but it didn't really turn out the way I wanted it. I don't know. I guess I was trying to make it more murky. Maybe I should have added more brown than yellow to it. Maybe I should have made the water look more brown and added blue into it. I don't know. Um, so once the water is done and the base is completed, I decided to go ahead and glue Godzilla down to the base. Although, I kind of wish I waited until after I gloss him, but it's too late now. So technically there are three regrets in this video. So once I've done, so once I'm done, like, um, glue him down onto the base, I went ahead and added several layers of gloss onto him. Um, because I like being glossy. I don't know. It just make it look complete in my opinion. And he is finally done.
still in this box because I did voucher I would film like before I started working on the model kit. But you'll be seeing the, the final, uh, like, the final what he looked like after all of this is done. And you'll be getting to see him on my shelf after all of this. I think this will be a great present for the Big G on his 68th birthday or 69th birthday. I can't remember. I haven't been keeping up with that. I've been a big fan of Godzilla for a very long time, like I mentioned in the intro. And without Godzilla, I would have gotten into character slash creature design. So, yeah, that, that was a big part of my childhood. I think I'll be very, I know I'm going to be very happy with the final result at the very end. Even though this outro was filmed before I have got my reaction to it. But, enough of all of that. This Dragon Queen gotta go back to her den and get ready for Thanksgiving coming up. Hmm. But I'll be back for next week's video. If you guys want to, you guys go ahead and check next last week's video for, you know, check it out. And check out this video. But until then, I'll see you guys, see you guys next week. Bye, dragons. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never seen.